The Supreme Court has adjourned till 25th of November for judgment to determine the validity of the governorship primary election conducted by the People's Democratic Party in Adamawa State. This comes after the exclusion of Abubakar Waziri from participating in the election. Judiciary correspondent Celestina Area reports. Justice K.K. Reiku, who led a five-member panel of the APS court, adjourned for judgment after parties in the suit had adopted their processes. Abubakar Waziri has, through his counsel, challenged the judgment of the Court of Appeal, which dismissed his appeal, on grounds of him lacking the local standing, since he was not an aspirant in the Mawase PDP governorship primaries, held on 23rd May in the state. The appellate court held that the trial court was right to have dismissed the suit for want of jurisdiction. All political parties have the power to set out rules by which they conduct their primaries. What happens during the screening of candidates is an internal affair of the party. On 18th July 2022, Justice Obiara equal to dismiss the appeal filed by Mr. Waziri on grounds that it was an internal party matter and as such, the court lacked the jurisdiction to entertain it. Mr. Waziri had sued the PDP and INEC over his disqualification by the screening committee of the party in preparation for the Demawase governorship race in 2023. He argued that Budiyula South Local Government Area and the Steering Committee of the PDP cleared him having met all the requirements to participate in the primary election built from May 23rd. To the court, we await the court's judgment. So we will have nothing to add more than what we have said in the court. I will adopt the position, uh, the definition by KKRO Open JSC in the case of AZ versus PDP. That an aspirant will be somebody who have actually contested the party's primary. To be governor, you cannot disqualify him. Now, this is a new law, and it is mandatory. If nobody competed within the primary, it means that Section 841, which mandates a primary election, so that people will now vote for candidates of their choice, is automatically uh, violated or breached because nobody can compete against himself. If you stop somebody who is qualified, declare qualified by the appellate screening committee, the highest level of screening committee, national working committee has no right under the guideline to do any job like I qualify you, I don't qualify you. That part has been taken away. The PDP filed a motion seeking an order of the court striking at grounds 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6 of the appeal being incompetent, argumentative and ambiguous. Celestina area, TVC News, Abuja.